Hello, I'm Sarah Jackman Reid and I'm a craft ambassador for Do Crafts. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a shadow box card. It's something I make a lot at some of my demonstrations and they're really sort of really good fun technique and quite simple. Um, this is the finished card. I've used the X Cut Paris in Love die, so it's all nice and romantic. Um, and also the good thing about these cards is if they concertine a fold and then they can sort of fold pretty flat to go into an envelope so they're much easier for posting. Now I've started with a square, uh, two pieces of, uh, three pieces, sorry, of square card, all the same size. And that will obviously be your front panel, your middle panel and your back panel. So I've used, because this is a lovely blue, and this is from the capsule pigment, uh, paper made of capsule pigment, 12 by 12 papers, and there's some really lovely sort of watercolour effects in there. So that is what I've used for this, this back panel, just so that I've got a really nice background. And I've, this is my, I've just used, this is the same size card, and what I've done is I've die cut the Paris in Love, uh, just the main, die through the through the center of that and I'm just going to cut this out because we'll be sort of using part of this on the background so we'll just cut basically we're cutting out the figures out of the middle there so we need that piece because they are going to be part of the design a bit later on so if we just cut those out and you can always use those on an, a, a sort of another project or maybe even sort of use them on the envelope to get it to match so we'll just pop that out there of course, we need our romantic Eiffel Tower. There we go. So we cut those bits out. And then we need to stick those just to our, our background. So basically, I'm sort of creating a sort of 3D scene. So you've got, we will have our sort of, um, our couple at the front, and there'll be lots of sort of flowing hearts and nice sort of pretty things. Now I'm using this uh, Sailor 2-in-1 glue pen um, because they're, they're ideal for when you've got these intricate dies. Because obviously you've got a very nice sort of fine tip there and they're perfect just for sort of rubbing on the back there. If you just press it down slightly, you'll get the, uh, the glue will come out. So we'll just pop a bit of that on there. And then we'll just, so that is basically, we sort of need to work out roughly where we need to put it. So if we sort of work out where it would go, and we'll just pop that piece there, like so. Okay. Now I've just I have got one here that I've already I've already made. So you can see where I've where I've cut this out. And also, as you can see, I've added some of these gorgeous little um hearts. Now these are really simple. I've just used the X Cut small punch, heart punch, and I've discovered these uh, X Cut Extra metallic sheets, adhesive sheets, and they, this is the pink set, and they're absolutely gorgeous. There's like pinks, purples, a nice deep red, and I'm just gonna use some of these, and it's just very, very easy. Just literally punch out a few of our lovely hearts, like so. And obviously where they've got an adhesive backing, they're, they're just really easy to use. Now, if you've got nails like me, you might want to use your uh, four in, I just use my four in one embossing, my X cut four in one embossing pen. And I just literally pop that underneath. There we go. And that just takes the backing off for us. And then you can just stick your heart on the back like so. I nearly forgot my Eiffel Tower then. So this is another one I've cut. And again, it's in the um, pigment papers and I've just used a pink and I'm going to just cut out the Eiffel Tower on this one and we'll just pop that in the background just so that it obviously shows up the uh, the tower a little bit more like so a bit more of our glue okay there we are and we can just pop that on there there we go so that is our first layer. Um, for, so the, the piece I cut out earlier is what we're going to use for our second layer in this card. And again, it just helps to build up the seam because you've got a sort of tree at the, at the top. But what I'm going to do, uh, I've, what I've done with another piece is I've added um, some piece of acetate to the back of it. And again, I've just added lots and lots of these lovely 
hearts just in onto that piece because I just again wanted to give the look of sort of like falling well sort of romantic rain almost because you've got the sort of heart so that's our second panel and then for our third panel I've cut a square which is again in the die set in the which comes with it so I've used a metallic sheet another piece of the pink paper and then I've just die cut through the middle so there we have got basically our three pieces and now we need to put them together. Now what I've got here, um, to get the concertina folds, I've got four strips of white cardstock. It's just the Paper Mania textured cardstock. And it's the same height as the card. Um, and they are four centimetres long. And what I've done is I've scored along at one centimetre, two and three. And then I need to concertina fold these pieces which, so I can use them to attach my card. So if we go like that and like that, and you've basically got your folded piece of card, and that is what gives us the depth in our, in our card. So I've got some here that I've done already. There's two, and I've got that one, and then we just use this one as well. So I'll just make those up. And I just run a little bit of thin six mil stick it double-sided tape along there like so put that there okay and one more And now we're nearly ready to build our card. You can make it deeper if you wanted to do six centimetres or you could add extra layers if you wanted to. So now that we've got our folded card, we need to go back to our first panel. And literally we need to, I'm gonna use my embossing tool again for that. Cause again, with my nails, it's quite a useful tip that if you've got acrylic nails, just use that just to pick off those bits. Okay, so we'll just put that along the side there. Just match it up with the edge. And the same the other side. Like so. And that's our first panel. And then we'll put our middle panel on the top. So just remove that double-sided, like so. As you can see, you can build it up really quickly. And you could add as many layers as you like. So we'll just pop that on the edge there. Like that. On that side. There we go. So you can see how that's building up, like a scene. And then we just need to add our final panel on the front. So again, peel that off, stick it on. There we go. So we are nearly done. That's it, one more. Okay, and then we've got our front panel to go on there. So we've got our scene now, but obviously we are missing the romantic couple in the front. So there we go. So I'm gonna have to obviously add them. So again, this piece I, I used to cut the Eiffel Tower out of earlier, we're just gonna cut the couple I'll just leave a tiny bit there at the end because we need that to stick onto something in a minute. So I cut them out like so. There we go. Now I've already um, made a sentiment. Again, I've used the uh, 
metallic adhesive sheets and I've used one of the sentiment mini dies just to create the sentiment and it's layered up with another just a piece of white cardstock. And I'm just going to pop that couple just behind there. And a bit more glue. And I shall just pop them just behind the sentiment like so. Right, and while that's drying, I just want to add a little embellishment in the top corner. And what I'm going to use is this fabulous new um, X cut, cut and emboss punch. Now these are really brilliant because obviously they cut and emboss at the same time. This is one of my new favourite toys. Simple as that. And that is perfect for our corner. So we'll just pop on a on a pad, like so, and on the back of that. And then all we need to do then is pop that in the corner and then pop our romantic couple on the front, like so. And there we have our finished shadow box card.